checking in on the tropics. No change from uh, yesterday evening on our tropical wave that's out in the Atlantic. Still about a moderate chance of development here over the next seven days as it heads towards the central Atlantic. So we'll have plenty of time to keep an eye on that, and we will need to watch that. Uh, meanwhile, around the world, uh, and we have a major or super typhoon, Doc Suri. This is already affected by uh, Taiwan. That's going to be headed into China as a Category 3 hurricane with winds of 120 miles per hour. So tropics are active around the world. Luckily, nothing at this time to deal with here uh, in the Gulf of Mexico. Meanwhile, our latest drought monitor out today and unfortunately shows an expansion of those severe drought conditions through parts of Sabine, Vernon, uh, all of Beauregard and Allen Parish, as well as much of Evangeline. Then here in the metro area, still dealing with uh, moderate drought conditions and then plenty of dry patches here throughout the rest of central Louisiana. So we certainly need some rain, but heat continues to be that main story with 100 degrees in Alexandria and over in Dallas. We have hundreds through Vegas and uh, Phoenix and the 90s here all the way into the Upper Plains uh, and Upper Midwest there. So it is hot uh, across a huge portion of the country and uh, that is going to continue our upper level pattern showing the strong upper level ridging uh, holding strong and actually strengthening uh, as we go into early next week. In fact, we'll be uh, kind of more towards the center of that ridge, which is the strongest part rather than just on the each eastern fringe as we have been lately. Uh, so look at our surface map. We do have high pressure at the surface off to the east. You can see that clockwise flow here around that uh, surface high pressure showing winds mainly out of the southeast. And we do have a little sea breeze activity popping up a few showers there across southeast Louisiana this afternoon. Uh, so temperature wise for tonight, we're into the low to mid 70s area wide another night with uh, near normal temperatures and then highs tomorrow. And going into the upper 90s to around 100 degrees or so uh, as we're looking at another hot finish here to the week. Uh, 103 is that record for tomorrow. We'll be shooting for about 99, maybe 100 here in the metro area. Uh, we do have rain chances on the board, low in rain chances tomorrow. Uh, this is the highest chance we've seen in a while. It's still only about 10 to 20 percent, but particularly to the south where, where we'll have some sea breeze activity as well as eastern parishes where we may see a shower or two kind of rotating in from the southeast. So uh, Best chances for that would be during the PM hours and part of the reason why our, our rain chances are increasing tomorrow. Uh, you do see that orange, that tropical moisture steadily making its way close to Louisiana. So more of an influence here to, uh, for our eastern parishes tomorrow and heading into the weekend, which will let us keep a chance of uh, some rain in the forecast and that moisture will stick around here into much of next week. That will add to our heat index as well and that will be back in that 110 to 115 degree range. So going through your Friday. Some sunshine to start during the late afternoon. Again, could see an isolated shower or two during the PM hours that will wind down with that loss of daytime heating tomorrow evening. Uh, dew points will be up as well. Uh, back to the muggy conditions here that sticks with us through the weekend and of course into early next week. So by lunchtime tomorrow, temperature around 94, feeling more like 100 with that heat index and winds out of the southeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So we're in for a hot weekend. In fact, next week looks like by far it uh, could end up being the hottest week uh, of the year so far with widespread low 100s across the area uh, starting Sunday. And of course, we're still we're already seeing them now in some spots, uh, but some low end range.